This week you can win a Legion of Anubis in factory new condition. To enter like every week, like, comment and subscribe and react to the posting on my Discord server linked below. Thanks! So, this will be a very interesting video. I already talked about this problem two months ago and this was at the point where I thought I figured out the problem and knew why many traders and innocent people randomly got hit with a trade lock. But it seems that this topic is way more complicated than I thought it was. So today I will tell you the whole story of why me, Jesus, Synco and many other traders and normal people like you and me, okay, like you, have gotten their Steam accounts locked and temporarily trade banned often even more than once. Helping me through these rough times is my sponsor, SkinsMonkey.com. SkinsMonkey is an automated CSGO bot trading site. They offer a huge amount of skins to instantly trade to, 24-7 live chat support and a 35% bonus on every cash deposit. With our referral code NEON, you can get a free up to $5 bonus on your first trade when exchanging items worth at least $100. So like you can see here, I've catered a little bit and found this cool deal on SkinsMonkey. I also used my $5 bonus, I just selected these 5 items out of my inventory for these two gut knife safari matches field tested. I even got some leftover balance on the side which I can use for my next trade. The two gut knives were on trade logs so I just saved them onto the side but some days later I could just withdraw them to my steam and as you can see here I've got a really good upgrade and with my bonus code also a really good deal. So check out SkinsMonkey right now, link to the side with my bonus code is in the description. This video will be split in three parts. First, I'm going to tell you the whole story of my first ban, the potential reasons I was able to eliminate and how it went until now. And I have a lot to tell you because I was ducking trade locked seven times. Second, I tell you what the real reason is why this problem exists in the first place. And last, we will see how you can prevent getting your own account trade locked and see how this can hopefully be fixed in the future. Okay, first our story starts in January of this year, where I was trading like normal when suddenly this popped up. You can imagine when you have a six figure amount of money in your Steam account and you see this message popping up and you realize you and all your items are trade banned, that's not nice. So I instantly texted Steam support, proved that I'm the real owner and I'm the real Neon, <laughs> And within a few hours my account was reset, which means the support sent the password to me and locked out all other devices. They told me in the support message that, I quote, as with security reset the account will be unable to trade or buy or sell in the Steam community market for 15 days. So that sucked, but after 5 days I was able to trade, buy and sell again. So I don't know where that came from, but okay. Of course, as an addition, I reset many of my passwords, checked different logging histories and secured my two-factor authentication. Because at this point it seemed like really somebody has gotten access to my account, which is just really scary. The other possibility I could think of was my VPN. I recently switched to a different provider, so I uninstalled it and went back to the old one I have used for years. And for me it seemed reasonable at that time that a different VPN could get my account trade logged because when my location and IP suddenly changes, Steam could think that somebody from that new location just hacked into my account. Two weeks later I was trading again and sorting my inventory a bit when suddenly it happened again. At this point I was sure that VPNs in general were detected by Steam for some reason. And many people on Twitter suggested the same. So I uninstalled all of them even though that can make trading a big hassle but better trade with problems than not trade at all. And it seemed to help until the 23rd of March. I was getting trade locked again, but this time with a different message and without having any VPNs online. The new message said, you have an account a lot, got just seeing this gives me shivers, holy shit. This account may have been accessed by someone else, blah blah blah, we know that. But now there were more information. First, they noted that this is not a ban. 
which is really important. And then more information about what device tried to trade items from Steam. Which was really interesting because it says the device first logged into your account on February 9th. Which is technically impossible because on February 13th I got trade locked via Valve and they locked out all devices. So that's technically not possible. This trade lock was at the same time, exactly the same time that I have sent a trade offer via a session based service. These are for example buff.market, buff163, wax, peer market, CSGO and so on. So any application that really needs you to log in with your details or session token, not just log in via Steam. So I was starting to get an idea here, but still very surprised as these trading methods have been used for years and they are used daily by millions of users. Especially because I was successfully selling and trading around 500 items on this site before I got trade locked. So good security measure here Steam. This would have let a thief only take 500 items. So again I contacted Steam and this time I have gotten the best and only, only reasonable answer from the support. To my knowledge, nobody else has gotten a reply like this. So a human reply. Sadly, I don't have a screenshot of it, but it said, you were not banned because somebody hijacked your account. You were banned and flagged for unusual trading behavior. Which confirmed my theory that this is not somebody hacking my account several times like the two support agents told me before, but a false positive because of unusual trading requests. The nice support lady also unlocked my account without a trade ban. So very nice. Funny thing, the later agents when I asked them, yo, could you unlock me again with no trade lock? They said that's technically not possible. And the lady just ducking hacked Steam. How was she able to do that? What? At this point I had 3 locks on my account, but was pretty much the only big trader in the scene with this problem. But this all changed just 3 days later. Skinport with its over 1500 bots was trade locked for exactly that reason. And I don't mean one account, every one of them. No prior notice, just randomly a ban on users items worth at least an 8 figure number. Good job Steam! They were unbanned pretty quickly, same as me, but all bots plus the user items on them have gotten an additional 5 days of trade lock. The funniest thing was, they said they had to lock into every bot and send over 1500 individual unbanned requests. Got the poor intern on the day, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> A bit later, on the 9th of April, our favorite kangaroo got hit. Jesus was banned in the same way. Interestingly, all bans after February look differently. They now feature way more information about the alleged device that has hacked you. And he received two more bans shortly after that and also other traders started being banned more frequently. Swinko got banned on May 28th, Greshti, Greti, um, Greti, I call you Greti, I hope that's right. A second time on June 11. Nice talks. And many more traders and more normal users started to have this problem. At this point I was sure that some marketplace I was using were the reason I'm getting 5 locks until now and others just end up with one or even more. Because the markets we are using differs from trader to trader. I was really unsure why people like Simple or Anomaly that also regularly sell and trade a lot, especially on Buff163, never gotten a ban like this. And it seemed to be totally random. Many big traders did hundreds of deals on sites I got banned at daily and some unlucky players just sold one item and got locked. What the fuck is going on? So I couldn't do more than just stop using these marketplaces I suspected of being the reason, including buff from 63 and continue like usual. And I got a 6 spam at the end of May. I was only using two very trusted peer to peer marketplaces and I was also in contact with them to see what is going on. So I was really limiting my ability to buy and sell items by a lot. At this point I was actually really pissed and said I want to do everything that is finally stops. I mean 6 bans with a total of 1.5 months of trade lock time, so for me as a professional trader, time where I cannot do my job or earn any money at all. And this all just within 4 months. 
So I went all in. I reset my phone, I bought a new second phone with a second SIM card, I reset my PC, laptop, router, phone, passwords, two-factor authentication, changed usernames and emails. I even, I even requested a fucking static IP from my provider, which costs every month. But you guessed it, only five days later, I got trade lock number seven. Interestingly, even though the same problem, Steam handled all of my seven trade locks differently. All of my seven trade locks were unlocked within 24 hours. But six times the support copy and pasted, somebody hacked your account, oh no. And one time the nice lady, no, nobody accessed your account. I don't know what my colleagues are talking about. You were flagged for unusual trading behavior. After a trade lock appear, two times they completely wiped my phone. So I have the 15 day trade hold, like they told me every reset, but four times they told me I had 15 days, but they didn't remove my phone. So it was only a five day trade hold. And one time, nice lady, I had no trade lock at all. And the message I received on Steam, they changed because they seem to have improved the system. But two times I had no further details for the first two bands. Two times it said somebody logged in from Amsterdam. And three times it says some device I had given access, most likely a session based marketplace, try to trade items. So I had to make a very hard decision. Do I stop trading at all or just wait until it's solved? Do I continue like that and just live and work knowing that I have 50% forced vacation? Or do I try the last possible solution? I took option three. So this was the end of any peer-to-peer -peer session based and or Steam API related service for me. So yeah, since my seventh log, I'm not using any P2P marketplaces. I'm not using anything like Buff163, for example. I completely removed my API key and I don't have one since the last log. Because what else should I do? I secured everything on my end several times. Steam support is only telling me, ah, oh, you got hacked, lol. Today, totally ignoring what I tell them, as usual. And I could trace five out of my seven trade logs directly to trade offers I sent because I sold an item. So yeah, I switched to a bot marketplace, which directly pretty much prevented me from normal trading or using my skins in game at all. Good job Steam. And today we mark one month of this method and it's going okay. I have adopted to it and with the Western ban on buff163, more people are using these marketplaces too. And at least for now, I have not been trade locked again. And looking at my past history over the last six months, this speaks for a lot. Now, what do I think is the reason for this ban? Big disclaimer here. All of this information I'm going to give you now is unconfirmed. And knowing Steam, I doubt that we will ever get a real confirmation of what was or is going on. But I had seven trade locks. I tried out every combination to stop it from happening. I tried many different services and I talked to other affected parties like traders, marketplaces and more. So it is very unlikely that you will get a better reason for this problem than from me. But in the end, it's just my opinion, okay? This year, we have seen Valve working on a lot of trading security, which is of course a really good and insanely important thing. The scamming industry is still making millions of dollars every week. So it is very nice to see that Valve has introduced the following four services. A short trade log after somebody changed their name, which prevents API scam bots, for example, from taking over your name. A notification on your phone when you confirm a trade that shows that the recent similar trade was cancelled, similar to the API scam. And a phone confirmation when you request a new API key, which, when you didn't put it yourself, is most like an API scam. And last, most people don't know that, an automatic system that tries to detect and prevent scams like this from happening. This is in my opinion what is happening. Imagine this, you sell an item on a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. You get a sale notification and send a trade. The buyer accepts the trade, everybody's happy, right? In these moments, more is happening in the background than you know. The marketplace uses your login or your Steam API key to check for certain information, especially to verify that the item was really delivered to the right account. This request is automated and is usually sent from a server the marketplace is using 
or your own client, which also looks like a different device. And these, of course, can also have a different location than you are in. This is kinda confirmed by the fact that several traders use the same marketplace and have gotten the same ban and the hijackers were all sitting in the same city. What a coincidence. Now let's be real, what the fuck is happening in Amsterdam? <laughs> So trade offer sent or accepted, instant API requests sent from another part of the world. Doesn't that sound familiar to you? Yes, that's exactly what happens when you are getting API scammed. You send your item to a trusted friend and in that moment the API access changes the trade offer. So an instant API access from, I don't know, ducking Igor sitting in the middle of Siberia most likely. Like I said, nothing here is confirmed, but looking at all the data, I am very sure that Steam is working on a system which automatically prevent and block scams, which is of course really ducking good, don't get me wrong here. But as usual for Steam, looking at my backband, they nuke and falsely lock many innocent people in the process. Okay, but what does this mean for you? Should you be worried? Should you also stop using P2P markets and API services like Mr. Neon here? In my opinion, no, but it depends. Even if you are a bigger trader, it seems to be very unlikely at all that this is happening to you. Only a small amount of people and the biggest traders, because they have like hundreds of deals every day, were banned. So if you have like 10 deals a day, the chance of you getting banned is comparable low. Also, there seem to be other factors that we just don't understand. Like which site are you exactly using? Where do you live maybe? How fast is your internet? I don't know. There seem to be some variables we just don't know. Also, Steam is definitely working on the system and they are 100% aware of all these false bans. So it might even be fixed already. We just don't know it yet. If you are a regular user of the site, it might be good to just continue using them like you used to. If you get trade lock, the worst that can happen is a 15 day trade lock. So if you look at how you trade and how the volume of these sites is, it might be worth it just to continue to see if something like this happens. And also if it happens, from my experience, only 30% of my locks were 15 days, the other were 5 days, so there's a good chance. <laughs> And if you really get trade locked, you can still change your trading or stop using services that you think put you at risk. Also, none of these services or websites, of course, wants to get you locked on purpose. They are most likely even aware of this problem and try to solve it. And the final solution for this problem depends on Steam. In my opinion, they will or maybe already have fixed it, but just in quiet. They will most likely work on their automatic anti-scam system as I like that so we will hopefully see less of these bans in the future to the point where nobody gets them if they stay or even increase the amount of bans like this there is a good chance that bot marketplaces are making a comeback because at the moment I don't know of anybody that got locked because he used a bot marketplace or bot trading site like skins monkey except for the bot market itself with skin porn <laughs> But they got their accounts back and it was safe, so all good. Yeah, long video. What do you think about the situation? Put it down in the comments below what you are doing in this situation and what you think will happen in the future. I am Neon. I talk way too long. And I'll see you guys in the next one.